So if I were to map out the process we use to make PowerCat Live videos, it looks a little like this. How about in your business? It doesn't have to be a mystery. Microsoft recently acquired Minit, and this adds twice the capability to Process Advisor. So you can map, measure, improve, and automate your business processes using measurements pulled directly from the systems of record. Heather shows how new templates make this easy and how it saves some businesses real money. It's all today on PowerCat Live. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Thomas of the PowerCat team, and today I'm here with Heather from Process Advisor. Hey, Heather. Hi, Phil. Thanks for being here. You know, we talked about Process Advisor, it seems like, uh, about a year ago, and I was blown away. It seems like a magical way to get all these insights about the stuff we're doing every day in our business. But what's new? So uh, Process Advisor is our process mining and task mining tool that allows you to get insights on the processes, whether they live on your desktop or they live in your systems of record. So we recently acquired a process leader uh, in the market named Minet and they have a robust process mining offering that we've taken into and created a brand new process advisor offering that now lives in Power Automate. And we're so excited to kind of show all of the new features and capabilities that come with this new acquisition and the new product offering that we have available. And that's what impressed me about it before, right? The process mapping and how automatic it can be. It can really make an organization more efficient, right? Oh, it's, it's more than just being efficient, but what do we, what is the ROI of that, right? So with the process map, you can actually see the amount of time that you're saving from creating new automations or creating new efficiencies in your process. We actually had a customer that used process mining to understand the processes of their accounts payable process. So how do they take invoices, pay those invoices out, and what are the bottlenecks of those processes? Once they were able to find those inefficiencies, they were able to value how much money they saved by leveraging discount rates from paying invoices early or on time and addressing those processes first. So that's real money. Yeah, absolutely. And with our report, you can actually track where that money is going. You can monitor if you're actually uh, attaining that, um, that discount value, how much money there is availability to save, and what are the key points in your process that can actually take, take you to those savings. Now, I recently talked about uh, some of the new technology we have for integrating with SAP. SAP is a big, complicated system. So, so how hard would this be to do with like a, a complicated process like SAP? What we've done is created this concept of a template where we've identified some kind of rich processes that are really common across organizations. One of them being accounts payable, um, procure to pay, order to cash, and so on. And we're creating templates around these processes that not only help you take extract that data from your system of record, but actually give you contextual insights on top of that data. So someone sitting in accounting or someone sitting in treasury who's interested to find out how are invoices being tracked, we can raise information about vendors, we can raise information about company code and discount values like we spoke of before um, in these templated views and reports. And so that's just SAP. We also have some really great and rich templates around Power Platform processes as well. If you want to understand how your flows work, you can right out of the back authenticate your um, your Microsoft account, and we show you a process map of all of the flows that are that exist in your cloud flows um, or even your RPA flows. That's amazing. So, what's in one of these templates? Yeah, it's a great question. So a template is composed of a data flow. So if you've ever used Power Query or Power BI, you're very familiar with what a data flow looks like. It is the connector and the extraction of that data. Um, so for instance, the SAP template has an SAP connector and then an mQuery, which defines what data is being pulled and then the required transformations to get the data in the right shape. And then it takes that data flow and connects it to a process advisor report, which is a Power BI report, really. Um, and what it does is it's a it's a 
customized reports specific to that process. So you'll have that process map that you can see here, and then you'll also have metrics that are relevant to that process, like discount value, invoice value, um, vendor accounts, top vendors, and so on. And there's so much data in here. If I wanna go deeper than what's in this Power BI report that's in the template, how do I, how do I, how do I get at this data? Yeah, absolutely. So we spoke of before about the richness of the Minit desktop, and that's really where you want to go. So there's so much deeper functionality that you can find in the desktop, which you can download. It's a one click download from the home page from our home page. And once you click into the Minit desktop, you can actually add unique filters to your process. So you can really get different cuts of what your process looks like, whether you want to look at specific cases or you want to look at a specific time interval. You can do root cause analysis to find out why some activities are maybe taking longer than others. It shows you what are the attributes that all of these cases share that might be causing these bottlenecks. And you can create like an automation rate by defining what activities are being automated, maybe through an RPA bot that you have through Power Automate um, or through a Cloudflow. And then that way you can track how much of your process is being automated and hit your automation targets. And you've talked a lot about how this makes me more efficient and saves cold hard cash. How does this help me find what I should automate? So you can look at it by actual activity counts. Maybe you want to go and address activities that have a high numerical percentage. So we know this activity happens in every single variation of this process all the time. All the time. Yeah. Let's go and see if we can find ways to automate it. Um, or maybe you want to identify activities that are taking the longest amount of time. So maybe only 30% of variants go through a specific activity, but it's taking four days to complete that task. Let's figure out how we can expedite that process. And you mentioned these templates. Uh, say I've got some, you know, special custom system just to my organization. There's probably not a template to it. How, how can I use Process Advisor for that? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So my answer is twofold. So the first is that any report that's created through use of a template can be customized. So you can actually go through the process of using a template and then be able to go back into that template and edit that M query we spoke about before. So you're editing that data definition, maybe adding additional uh, systems of record, right? There's very few companies today that rely on just one system of record. It's usually a hodgepodge of systems that make an organization work. So how can we bring all of that data together? And then you can even edit the report itself. So by using your own Power BI workspace, you can bring the report down to Power BI, add new visualizations, use the power of Power BI to customize exactly to your needs. Um, so templates is just really the first step. And then if let's say that templates, there's nothing in the templates right now that interests you. Uh, you have a very niche process that maybe Microsoft has never heard of, uh, which we would love to hear. We would love to hear about it. Process, I yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we have a start from blank experience. So you use data flows to use one of our over 200 connectors to connect to whatever system of record you want. And then using Power Query, you can transform that data into the right shape. And we have heaps of documentation to help you get to help get you there uh, and then you get to visualize your process from our standard report and it really is so amazing to see like this process that this team performs laid out with different paths and timing it's it's pretty magical uh, we've got the docs in the description i know this is out on make.powerautomate.com if people want to go and try this out uh and they've got comments can they leave them below in the video yeah absolutely we'd love to hear from everyone all right, thanks for being here, Heather. Thank you so much for having me, Phil. Thanks for watching, everyone. Mm -hmm.